Well, most of the actors, I'm lucky to say, I've worked with. The two men, Gregory Woodell and Tony Roach, I've worked with twice. They're wonderful, uh, accomplished, beautifully um, experienced in playing the classics. They speak very well, and they're easy on the eye, which is always a help. Miss Prism is played by, going to be played by an extraordinary actress called Patricia Connolly, who years ago I played with as Anthony and Cleopatra. We play that together. And Miss Prism, she's a great comic actress. Lady Bracknell is going to be played by a Welsh actress, whom I've known since she was 17, Sean Phillips, who's known perhaps to a lot of American audiences for her performance in I, Claudius, which she kept winning huge awards for BAFTA awards, which is the equivalent of our Oscar. Well, the designer, um, Simon Higlett, has designed every play I've done, not just in this country, but in England. And he's a superb designer. Uh, and the costume designer has designed every play that I've done here. He also is a superb designer, Robert Perziola. He designs very attractive clothes, and I think audiences like seeing attractive women in beautiful clothes. I once asked um, the great couture, Valentino, what his great success was as a couture. He said, I design clothes that women like to wear. And Robert Pezziola does that. They're clothes, they're not for freaks. I'm not doing any strange take on the show. I'm not setting it in an amenity tip. I'm setting it absolutely as Wilde wrote it. I'm not playing around with that. I'm not using asking Bob to design curious costumes as a take. If you look at the uh, photographs of the original production in 1895, the characters on stage are dressed like the characters in the audience. And that's what it should be. They're real people. The hap the they're real people who happen to speak this extraordinary language. But they're not freaks. They're not comedy players. And I've seen it done when the director and the designer has put a sort of comic... The play doesn't need that help. That's what makes it funny, that they're recognizable human people, but they're speaking this extraordinary language.